Hello there guys, my name is Kyle Shadogs the Born Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to another Halloween update. Now today we're going to be talking about the latest construction from Thorpe Park Fright Nights, the spooktacular event at the Thorpe Park Resort. Uh, it is going ahead for 2020, it looks very likely to be going ahead, especially with the latest construction that's been going ahead. Now massive shout out to Josh Perry aka Thorpe Park Discussions on Instagram who has uh, allowed me to use his latest construction photos of the previous day. And um, we're going to be sharing those in this video, talking about what we see. I'm going to talk to you guys about last year's lineup. What, you know, what's the rumor? Now, the rumor I've seen on the in on Instagram, on an Inst I think it was on an Instagram story. I can't remember exactly. But the rumor was six mazes. So it doesn't include containment. And it doesn't include Terra Amity High. So, of course, that's a show. And containment's like an escape room attraction kind of thing. So, um... Looking at with last year, you've obviously got four mazes taking out the Walking Dead Living Nightmare, of course, because that, that's going to be transformed into the, the permanent new attraction for 2021 Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now, looking at those four mazes then, Blair Witch, Do or Die, Platform 15, Creek Freak Massacre, new from last year. Um, two of them are involved heavily in this construction update. Pretty much, that's, that's the construction update. <laughs> um, but two of them we don't know the fate of as of yet, but I've got a feeling they both may come back anyway. But um, with four there, and the rumor of mazes being six that I saw on Instagram, you know, two new mazes. Is it going to happen? We'll have to see. Uh, but for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click OK spot so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, please just enjoy this video. I mean, this video could turn into the hackers next promo at any time so i would enjoy the video while you can but for now guys let's get into this halloween update when you wish upon an injured star it makes no difference who you are <laughs> right. So from the latest construction on the first construction photo, it is very, very clear to see that we see the box used from the big top. Now, in terms of the big top and its history uh, with uh, the Fort Park Fright Nights event, it was a maze. Um, it was a maze right from 2015 onwards, and it ended up at the end of 2017. So it was a good run maze. However, of course, it evolved into things like shows, uh, with the Big Top Showtime, which operated between 2018 uh, and, and of course, there's obviously nothing in 2019. So, uh, will we see a Big Top return or will this particular bit of uh, artifacts from the Big Top theme be reused and recycled to fit a different kind of theme or a different kind of themed maze? Maybe it could be involved in one of maybe a new maze that's going to be involved at Fright Nights this year. It depends. I mean, Thor Park definitely do need to invest in something new for Fright Nights to bring in the crowds and to really appease to the crowds. And I'm not going to lie, Thor Park Fright Nights this year, I, I, I've never gone to Fright Nights at Thor Park, but it's definitely something I'm very interested in attending this year. I'm definitely interested, definitely. Um, <laughs> especially if my especially if my first semester at uni is going to be online and not in Sheffield for the full year, because it means I've got a grand to spend. <laughs> but all jokes aside, no, Fright Night is something that's always interested me, and, you know, it'd be interesting to see if we do get a couple of new mates for this year. But the Big Top construction is a little interesting, because is it the return of Big Top as a maze? Are we going to see that recycled for a different theme, or you in one of the current mazes coming back who knows the second photo already on your screen then is of course um some construction around creek freak massacre now that was the brand new maze for last year that is located in the current queue line and station area for the former loggers leap attraction that is still sbno or standing but not operating we have no idea what the future of that is if it's going to get fully refurbished and 
you know, re replaced with a brand new log flume system and reopened and things like that? Or is it going to get fully demolished and then the back of it gets used as part of a new coaster? We don't know. Um, but what we do know is Creep Freak Massacre sits in the Q-Line station area of Logger's Leap. And that was a very highly rated maze last year. So that makes me even more excited to want to go to Friday Nights this year. Because Creep Freak Massacre was such a successful maze. It'd be great to do that. Um, and the signs of it definitely looking to come back. All but confirmed to come back this year. Um, with the fact that the silver fencing has been placed around the queue line of Creek Freak um, to block it off and you know help with the construction and things like that. So it looks like they could be doing some work ready to get it ready for Fright Nights, uh, which would suggest the return of Creek Freak Massacre for its second year in operation. Another maze that's going to be coming back, or looks likely to come back due to the construction that we've seen recently, is Platform 15. Now, of course, Platform 15, uh, what's happened with that recently? Well, the construction of a new queue line fence and ramp, which has been relatively permanent as there is concrete involved in the construction, is currently underway. Now, um, the construction of Platform 15, or the reconstruction, shall we say, of Platform 15, uh, is very, very good indeed. I can't wait to uh, to exper potentially experience um, Platform 15. It's something I've wanted to experience for a good while now. And um, yeah, definitely very, very excited with that one because I've got a good feeling that Platform 15 could be very, very uh, enhanced. I think they could do some good stuff to it to make it even better than last year from the reviews it's been getting. And um, yeah, very exciting stuff all around from the construction of many different things going on for Fright Nights 2020. So there we go, everybody. That is looking at the latest construction of Thought Park Fright Nights 2020. So from that construction, what can we tell? Well, there's three big things, well, four technically big things we can tell. Platform 15, all but confirmed to come back. Creep Freak Massacre, all but confirmed to come back. Big top theming in construction. Is it coming back? Is it for a brand new maze? Is it for one of the current mazes, a brand new artifact or item? We don't know. That's a question that still needs answering. And finally, what about Blair Witch? And what about Walking Dead Do or Die? Now, Blair Witch... I think that will come back. I think with that being an outdoor scare maze slash scare zone, I think that Blair Witch will definitely come back because Blair Witch has got that uh, outdoorness about it and it's got that edge to it. And I think with it being outdoors, it's better in COVID situations. So I think that Blair Witch is inevitable to come back. With Walking Dead Do or Die though, that's a different story because with Walking Dead Living Nightmare making way for the Black Mirror Labyrinth opening in 2021 as a permanent attraction, what is the future for the Walking Dead franchise at Thorpe Park, period? You know, Walking Dead The Ride, Walking Dead Do or Die. You know, the whole Walking Dead year they did back in 2018 was actually for a couple of years. Is the licensing on its way out? You know, getting the boot, getting the sack. Um, now, Walking Dead Do or Die, will that come back this year? I have a feeling it might do, but if it doesn't, if it doesn't, then um, I think we could see some kind of re-theme with that. Maybe an original zombie theme. Or just something completely new in its place. So that it, it would be nice. It would be nice to see a new theme. But I, I've got a feeling Walking Dead Do or Die might be coming back. Especially with it being four mazes technically from last year's lineup. Along with Containment and Terror Amity High. Uh, and the rumoured you know, sign up sheet or whatever I saw on Instagram. That said there was the rumour of six mazes. So it could into us. We've got the four technical, technically correct mazes coming back. Containment and Terror Amity High uh, you know, escape room horror room and you know show respectively so they won't be included in those four mazes so we're looking to be potentially having two new mazes um and that and of course that would link to potentially the big top you know box being spotted on the construction site is big top coming back obviously the bouncezilla site is obviously a prime site for a fright nights outdoor maze maybe uh, they could do what they did what alton towers are doing with freak show of course alton towers are investing in freak show toxic junkyard and what we could see with this is Thought Park do something similar to that, but more scarier and themed to Big Top. So like an outdoor maze themed to Big Top on the Bouncilla side. In terms of where we're going to see a second new maze, if it is going to equal to six, if containment is involved, then I don't know. I really have no idea because, um, you know, it would be nice to see a second new maze, but I've got a feeling they may use containment as a way to call it a, a maze, or they might refurbish containment a little bit and make it more into a bit of a maze experience. So, 
you know, and technically containment is a mage because it's an escape room, so you've got to try and get out the escape rooms and find the puzzles and everything like that, which is technically a mage because you're going through different rooms. So, um, you know, they could technically call it that and retheme it and not retheme it, but refurbish it a little bit to make it more of a maze. Uh, but if they've got any sense, then I keep containment as a separate attraction. Uh, along with the show Terror Amity High, which I think, once again, I think that's coming back anyway. Um, so you've got the four mazes, you've got a potentially new one, maybe, and potentially two new ones. So, uh, Fright Nights 2020, very, very exciting. Now, of course, one of the big things we do hope with Fright Nights this year is they go for quality over quantity. Now, six mazes is still, you know, big quantity. Um... But what I do hope is that they focus on the quality of each maze. They don't just go for quantity and that's it. You know, to the good thing about quantity is it separates the queue lines. So there's more social distancing uh, and it's more spread out between the park. Um, but the bad thing with that in terms of the actual quality of what you're paying for, sometimes the quality can come down with more mazes that you add. I mean, you've got to look back, uh, I think it was 2017, 2018, around that mark, Fright Nights. Uh, it was the year of Vulcan Peak, and you know there was a lot of bad reviews about that attraction. A lot of bad reviews about that Fright Nights because it was overcrowded. There was loads of queue lines. There was too many mazes. Not enough quality for what you're paying for. So the big hope for all of us, I think, will be quality as well as the quantity that they're working with. So obviously with COVID restrictions, it is going to be tough to social distance uh, with the crowd bit, with the crowd, you know, the working at limited capacity and pre-booked tickets, etc. And that's what the parks are doing well. But, you know, when it comes to the busiest days, you know, you're going to be dealing with a lot of crowds and social distancing may be technically impossible, uh, with those crowds, even at the limited capacity. So, um, you know, Thought Park going to have to really work this Friday night into working each day as a great day, sticking to the restrictions as much as possible. And still making the quality for people to come back and pay for a trip to Thought Park Fright Nights. So, there we go. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this Halloween update from Thought Park Fright Nights 2020. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll keep you up to date with the latest construction and the latest news about what's happening. But there we go, guys. So, stay tuned for another news update coming uh, tonight, that well, this evening, uh, from Indiana Beach because there's some rumors of some new attractions. And stay tuned throughout the next couple of days because you never know when the Six Flags announcements are going to drop. So, we'll give you a video, we'll give you the videos and uh, my analysis of the coasters for when the videos are up from Six Flags. And for now, guys, I'm Coast Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click on the case bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.